Anissa Wire has been here nearly four years, but that stay came to an end after a judge Friday ordered her release. It came after a letter from Anissa saying, quote, I have exhausted all the resources available to me at Winnebago. Her doctors agreed. She says she's having trouble breathing. Memorial Day weekend 2014, 12-year-olds Anissa Wire and Morgan Geyser nearly killed their classmate Peyton Leitner, stabbing her 19 times following a birthday party. The pair said they were trying to please the online horror character Slenderman, who they said they believed was real. Both were later found not guilty by reason of mental illness and committed for decades of mental health treatment. They've been held at the sprawling Winnebago Mental Health Institute, more like a college campus than a correctional facility. The sentences allowed for review petitions when they were doing better. Over objections from prosecutors, Wire's petition was granted, and the terms of her release approved Friday. It provides good protections as far as the community is concerned. It also provides a, a good plan for, for, for rehabilitation then of Ms. Wire. The now 19-year-old Wire's release Monday comes with conditions, including living with her father taking prescribed medications, and no contact with the victim, who still lives in Waukesha. Morgan Geyser remains here at Winnebago. She could petition for her release at any time. So far, she hasn't done so. In Oshkosh, Nick Bohr, WISN 12 News. In a statement, the family of victim Peyton Leitner told ABC News they're disappointed with Wire's release and, quote, wish she would have been served a longer sentence. Their spokesperson went on to say the family has, quote, mentally prepared for this day for a long time.